So guys, uh, another idle game, uh, just really close to other games we reviewed a few days ago, so look in the same, same company, Mobirix, I, I think they want to flood the idle market and take the control, so let's see. Uh, the boss, let's go fight the boss and see how it's different. This one is 3D though, like others are more 2D or something like that, this one is 3D, it's not that bad. But the strategy is the same, let's take a look at the ability, same stuff, level up your attack, of course, you press and hold. Uh, HP recovery, we don't need that, we want the maximum attack, our life is uh, forever. Uh... We gotta progress a little bit more to see what it is. So we got a bunch of the rewards for pre-registering and something like that. We lost to the boss, by the way, which is kind of weird. Um, let's use that gold that we have. Let's use the equipment that... Oh, not, not yet. So we need to level up more. Follow the instructions. Instructions says us to fight the boss. That is not good because we will be killed by the boss. But yeah, we want to maximize our damage as always and... I really want to see how this game will be different from other idle games we've been playing. I think it won't be that much different, to be honest. I see buttons of auto boss and everything, so this game can be played on auto. What I like about this game is that it's Sukubu, so there are waifus. I mean, waifus are always nice. 3D graphics, pretty dope. Drum and bass music, okay. Unexpected, but... I have nothing against it, I kinda like it. So let's see what else this game have. let me do some progression so I can show you any difference uh, in the mechanics. So do you remember how I said drum and bass is good? Uh, it's been for like 3 minutes and the sample is so short that this music is already annoying so that's not a good thing. But we gotta summon stuff right now. Let's take a look what we can summon. Let me get the microphone closer to my mouth so you can hear me better. We can summon weapon, which is always a good choice. Then there is a ring that giving us the life leech. And you can summon uh, two spirits later on. So let's get those weapons and see how they are. Uh, kind of the same thing. Like, we can use pitchfork. I like that. <laughs> um... Let's see if we'll get anything good. Not, not good. Okay, not good. And we used up all the diamonds or not? I don't know. Let's use up everything. I think same mechanics, yes. As you uh, summon stuff, you will level up the summons. That will guarantee you the better summons. All that stuff. And obviously, you want to get the best weapons possible to yourself. And like, because this is way to go. The weapons are key in those games. The more damage you do, the faster you progress and the further you can push. So I'll just use all my diamonds right now with you guys and we'll see how cool our weapon will be. We got a 3 star bronze weapon something. Okay. Okay. Not really good with the, this game yet. I have no idea what's good, what's not. Okay, we're almost out of diamonds. Let's see we, if we can use the... Um, we got the green one. That's nice. I think this is good now for us. I want to check out the tiers. Yeah, we, we're out of resources, so let's see. Uh, what I don't like about the game, when you press something, there is a slight delay, and that's annoying. Like, look at the amount of weapon tiers you have here. I, I like it, kind of. So, uh, yeah, EDC, there is, like, weird stuff, so, you know, you will get the higher rank, the highest rank is X, which will be available later on, so you got a lot, a lot of grind here. Okay, let's use up the weapons that we summoned. Uh, yeah, the best weapon will give you attack increase percentage, so as everywhere else, that's like the percentage, and if you get the new weapon, you can get the diamonds for that as always, so the me mechanics is very similar to other Isle games we've played beforehand, so yeah. Each equipment piece have its own possession effect, so when you own it, you get the benefit of this, and it have additional uh, equip effect, which is... I think about like 8 times, I don't know, like way higher than, yeah, about 8%, 8 times higher, maybe, it depends. So it's it's higher than when you just uh, own it, obvious. You can merge the equipment to get a higher tier 1, let's do that. Bam, automatic merging of stuff. I don't know how far we will be able to push with it, probably not that far, yeah, no mergeable equipment. Leveling up stuff will increase the possession effect as well, so it's a good idea to level up. Uh, most of the weapons will focus on our main weapon, because like, yeah, damage is the key, look at that, we're one-shotting everyone and we can push few more stages. Auto boss is the way to go, because like, 
yeah then you can take out the bosses easily and go to the next stage and so on and so on pretty straightforward also there is a camera mechanics here so you can zoom in and take a closer look at your character at your um succubus i like that so yeah the problem with this game that i see right now straight away that you see when she hits there is a slight delay before the damage lands when you click something you get the slight delay before stuff will happen bam bam you see it's not nice like i want it to be instant uh instant reaction to your actions because otherwise it feels kind of weird and moreover every time you fight the boss there will be loading screen for the new arena new area i understand that you gotta load the uh, assets of their level like three they all that but it's a little bit annoying what else we have here uh here you can select the stage by the way you get um the reward for completing the stages so it's pretty straightforward here let's take a look at the succubus window here uh stats all right what's that you can level up what's that leveling up the grade i don't know you leveling up your succubus i guess and when you level up you will get you use xp for that that's kind of weird yeah you collect xp and you level up your succubus that will give you stat points that you can apply later on for attack and uh, all the stats let's apply everything to the attack because i want to make some damage all right promotion you can get to the next grade when you will get the mana cores all right that's interesting and costumes here costumes um some of those are available for the promotion they're pretty cool and some of those can be bought with real money same with the wings some of them are for, for the promotion some of those are not weapon same stuff uh promotion will give you the better weapon gotcha so how do you get those mana cores you have to dismantle the equipment so instead of merging it you'd better i think dismantling it because merging is kind of useless so uh where is it dismantle all whatever all e grade dismantle will get a little bit so i would say that you will be limited in your diamonds in your progression here not in like in other games here the diamonds are even stronger limiter for you what's this ah this is the familiar set all right you can get three sets of your skills and you can get several familiar sets let's go to the familiar and see how it works uh same stuff possess possession effect and um used one effect those guys oh look at that those familiars are actually actually characters not the dragons or something why they are in the egg other than that so far it's pretty straightforward we got the missions which is a which are quests that give you more rewards uh i want to get the reward oh my god those loading screens are annoying i want to get all the rewards and try to do the minion summon the familiar summon because that's that that might be fun event um was that attendance dice event so you kind of roll let's roll and see what do we get diamonds that's nice 300 not that crazy though more diamonds uh so some summon tickets new succubus event same stuff so a lot of events that are those are not uh, paid to win i like that that those events can be used just by playing the game so you don't really need anything special about that uh the pass though on the other hand is oh my god another boss yeah the pass here on another hand have the free rewards and the premium rewards and so far as we can see the premium rewards are a little bit better but it basically just doubles the free rewards and that's really good i like that mechanics um let's see if we get something yeah like basically for paid rewards you will get more stuff so there is nothing like paid rewards are even better yes they are but you know you got the free stuff are you guys annoyed by the music by now i think you are because <laughs> oh my god that's annoying all right uh let's do the summon of the familiar now i think we can do that summon we can summon the ring which is not what i need uh ranger familiar and berserker familiar let's get the ranger one. Oh, nice nice are those waifus though i don't know summon 165 i like that you can get the massive summons so uh if you want to summon a lot of stuff you can go for massive crazy amount of summons uh and same goes for the berserker let's get just the basic ones because we don't have enough diamonds for that and like yeah we just want to get someone in those slots and see how they look like all right familiar spirit same stuff every spirit will give you the bonuses um yeah so for the ranger familiar you will get the bonus damage they have their own skill but i think the best option will be getting the 
highest tier one because they will give you the more more damage bonus so why not berserker one will give damage increase rate so kind of the same stuff but different i'm curious what does it means and actually we lost the boss fight right now that's interesting and uh now we got some more minions next to us i'm actually taking damage here i'm curious so i can die i need to level up my uh defense better there are also a bunch of dungeons uh xp dungeon equipment grow that will give you the stuff for the growth and familiar grow dungeon so pretty straightforward let's go to the xp one so uh we can see how hard it is and what's happening there uh different levels at the same time so yeah we are doing pretty good so far i guess I don't know, the enemies have been killed. We need 150 kills in order to get to the next level, that, so it will be considered 1. I think we gotta work with the skills in order to make it more efficient, guys, and we'll talk about the skills after this. There is also Demonic Beast Dungeon where you kinda score, and based on the score, uh, let's get one opportunity, based on the score you will get the ranking, and uh, based on the ranking you will get the reward, so this is like the boss fight, where you gotta do the maximum damage and the more damage you do the stronger the boss will become and that kind of stuff so as you can see the more damage we do to the boss the more damage it does to us so you need some survivability here i guess i guess all right now the skills the skills here in order to unlock the new skill uh you will have to fight um the boss so you will have to go for the try and if you'll be able to beat it you will get a skill let's try this one so here we are Kill the required amount of monsters in the time limit. So we need to kill 100 monsters here before the time runs out. And then we will get that skill available for us. Pretty straightforward and I don't think it's hard. So we should be able to do this or not. I don't know. Depends. You can die here by the way. So you gotta be careful with uh, what you have. With what you go in. So right guys. We got enough mana cores. And we can try to upgrade mana. Oh. You don't have to fight anything. You just spend those to upgrade uh, your character, that's it. There is a chance that it will lose, there is a chance that it will win and something like that. But we got the um, multiplier, which is possession effect, so it will work forever. That's how it works. So yeah, now with our newfound power, let's try to unlock the skill again and see how it will go. We got more damage, so they should die faster, but I think it's because of the attack speed, because they were one shotted beforehand as well, and... Oh, can we? I'm not sure that we can control our character too much. We can uh, ask her where to go, but everything else will be automatic. Well, yeah, we can do that because of the attack speed. That's kind of weird and lame, but yeah. And guys, yeah, that's the game. Nothing new over here. Uh, like, this idle game is based around your health pool and recovering it. Other games about defense, this one is like... Your health pool should be more and your life drain should be higher to refill that uh, life pool. But most of the game mechanics is kind of the same, more or less. Not much different from other idle games I've seen. Uh, I don't know, if you play this, let me know in the comments how do you like it or not. I might want to make a guide on this one as well, because like since I downloaded it, I can make a guide on this for you guys. And uh, let me know what do you think in the comments down below. While you're going there, don't forget to like this video, share it with your friends, and uh, subscribe to the channel. That's really important. Uh, this channel about idle incremental games, and if you subscribe, you will get what you need here, right? And yeah, that's about it for now, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Stan Kosh, out. Have a good one. Bye.